eukaryotic cells contain a membrane-bound nucleus that holds all of the DNA in one part of the cell, as well as many other organelles. Now let's look at the function of each organelle in a eukaryotic cell. To gain an understanding of the inner workings of the cell, it's helpful to think of the cell as a mini-city. Just like in a city, a cell is made up of many parts that have their own functions. In the cell, these parts are called organelles, which are explained next. A plasma cell membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer. This is like the capital building of the city because it functions as the control center of the cell and houses the genetic information or instructions for what the cell is supposed to do. The mitochondria functions as the powerhouse of the cell by producing the energy the cell needs to perform its duties. This is just like a power plant providing energy for a city to use. The energy currency of the cell is ATP. The ribosomes act as factories which translate the genetic information, or DNA, from the nucleus into usable protein molecules. Proteins do the work in the cell. The Golgi functions as the post office in the cell and packages and modifies the proteins. The endoplasmic reticulum is the highway of the cell. It forms an interconnected network of tubules and vesicles and functions to transport proteins throughout the cell. So those protein-containing vesicles would be like the trucks on the highways of our city. Many of the protein-producing ribosomes are located on the endoplasmic reticulum. The lysosome is the trash man of the cell because it digests excess or worn-out organelles and proteins by breaking them down and removing them.